That name again. Gnosis. Gnosis. I'm gonna say Gnosis because that's how the Japanese VA say it. Chief, it's about time you tell us. Please tell us what my brother was involved in six years ago and about the cult that kidnapped Tio. Please, you must be aware of everything that happened. I had a feeling you knew what was up with Tio Ta from the start. Clearly. I wouldn't be surprised. Of course I knew about the call. Back when they were at the height of their power, it was Guy and I who tracked down and took out one of their lodges. You did. And Chief, you were my brother's... Yeah, I was Guy's superior officer. I guess even back then, I was a bit of an oddball in the force. So one day I ended up with two unconventional rookies assigned to serve under me. One of them being your brother. I was impulsive, a bit reckless too, but he was a damn great detective. The other rookie was like night and day in terms of personality. Two of them made a hell of a team. Who exactly was this other rookie? Don't tell me it was that Dudley guy from the first division. Nah, Dudley was hired straight into the first. The guy was practically born from that division. As for this other rookie, I bet you've heard of him somewhere before. His name is Arios MacLean. Nah, yeah. His name goes around. What? He was a part of the police. He was, but he traded his police badge in for the bracelet gauntlet some years back. Hell, it's probably one of the reasons the police here in Crossbow have such a rocky relationship with the guild. Didn't see that one coming. So my brother and Arios both joined forces, joined the force at the same time? Yeah, though Arios was a couple years older than Guy. And it showed, Arios was always a bit more mature. He was already a family man with a wife and daughter at the time. Guy, on the other hand, he was as bright-eyed as he was foolish. A wild card who was always rushing off to help people. I think there are many differences with the reason they got along so well, though. A little less than two years after joining the force, and those two were already being heralded as the CPD's rising stars. Considering what we know about their skills, I can definitely believe that. Exactly. To be honest, I was damn proud of those boys. After all, not many people get the chance to mentor two fine young rookies like them. Our squad was able to accomplish a lot in the time we had together, to the point where higher-ups decided to lead the joint investigation of a certain international case to us, rather than the First Division. Joint investigation? International case? Wait, are you talking about... Yeah, it was the cult. DG, that's their official name. Written out with the therefore sign in the middle. E, therefore, G? Hex, a therefore song. Three dots arranged in a triangle. It's a symbol used in mathematical proofs and logical arguments. Can't say I've heard of it. But exactly what do the D and G stand for? We never solved the entire riddle, but we did uncover what the meaning of the G is. It stands for Gnosis. Yeah, classic. The drug Dr. Gwento told us about. The one rumored to use people borrowed from the devils. This can't be a coincidence. It's already been six years since that whole mess. Those zealots left behind a lot of mysteries, but I know one thing for sure. Out of my decades of service on the force, this group were the most disgusting pieces of shit I've ever had the displeasure to encounter. The bastards used those kids they kidnapped as sacrifices at their lodge. Ark the Lad 2? Why does Ark the Lad 2's White House premise always find a way back to me in whatever game I play? So then, the abduction case Mr. Grimwood mentioned yesterday, it was... They have more than 10 active lodges spread all across Zemiria. They have performed various rituals in each of them. Summoning horrific devils, taking advantage of artifacts for their gain, experimenting on those poor children. Man, you know what would make this even more like Ark the Lad 2? If we went to each of those lodges and had to, like, make them explode. Now that would be very Ark the Lad 2. There was always one constant in their rituals. The mysterious drug called Gnosis. I said drug. Drug. Words. This is all a lot to take in. So, how'd you end up solving a case as messed up as this one? Ah, right. Cassius? Like I said yesterday, this issue affected a number of countries, so they got together and organized a joint investigation. Each country's army, police force, and bracer guild branches collaborated. Under the command of a certain famous bracer, we launched a large-scale operation to round up and suppress every one of the cult's lodges. As for my squ small squad of three, we were in charge of taking down the lodge located in the outskirts of Altair, located in the western of Calvary. 
It was there that Guy rescued Tia Plato, who was eight years old at the time. Tia was em emaciated and barely responsive, and she was one of the lucky ones. After all, none of the other kids made out alive. Even though what Tio had to go through was monstrous, there were even more horrific things happening to the kids at the lodges. Why? Why are people like this allowed to exist? <laughs> you just described, like, human nature. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Compared to the criminals we've dealt with here in Crosswell, these guys are completely different level of twisted. At any rate, after that operation six years ago, the cult was completely wiped off the map. All its zealous, zealots either committed suicide or suffered a psychotic breakdown and wasted away. Some have speculated that there were a few survivors, but rumor has it the church and the society exterminated the rest of them. The nightmare known as DG cult have, should have been finally over. But now these blue pills have appeared. There's a chance that these pills are the gnosis to cult using their rituals. Right now it's just speculation on my part, but if this is the real deal, I'm afraid the nightmare six years ago might have resurfaced in another form. One that will entangle itself with this conflict between these mafias. It sounds like things couldn't get any worse. But if this is all true, we have some we have to do something. Couldn't agree more. Boyd, the one who killed your brother three years ago is still at large. I know. Oh, you're gonna suddenly make this a revenge story? No leads were found, and the case eventually went cold. Yeah, there weren't any witnesses either. After Guy transferred to the purse, he'd only ever taken, take, take on cases by himself. It's been speculated the culprit was an intelligent agent from Aragonia or Calvard, maybe a member of Ravash. Hell, some have tossed around the idea of a Jaeger poor terrorist cell being responsible. However, there's always been another possible culprit in my mind. A remnant of the cult, right? Yeah, I'd say that possibility is even more likely now. For me, this whole thing is starting to look more and more like a chance to avenge my fallen subordinate. So sorry for my selfishness, but I'm gonna be butting in from now on. There's no need to apologize, we'd love your help. Trying to tell me you didn't butt in before? Who can say? Anyway, I figured it's about time I told you. I'm gonna found this special support section, but the one who first came up with the idea was Guy. What? This was Guy's idea? What about the SSS being created to oppose the guild's popularity? That was just something I fed the top brass to get them to agree to it. <laughs> While he was still alive, Guy told me something I'll never forget. He said that what Crosswell needs, what Crosswell needs is the strength to overcome its barriers. There's the word again. A place where young people can make mistakes, learn, grow, and combine their strengths into one. He told me he thought that was exactly what the police force needed. God. Damn, that brother of yours sure was something, Lloyd. So, is that the reason Tio joined the SSS? Could be. I'm willing to bet she wanted, more than anything, to be part of a group that carried on Guy's will. Not that she's ever said as much to me. Wow. I had no idea. Hmm. Well, setting Guy aside for now, I think our most urgent priority is stopping the damage these drugs are causing. Regarding Kia, I think it's possible that what happened to her is related to the cult somehow. This is me off to think about it, but it does seem likely. After all that talk about drugs being the cause of her amnesia. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm beginning to think that as well. So, Chi, do you leave the investigation to us while you protect Kia here? Since we have to coordinate with the first division, we have to coordinate with the first division. We'll need someone to stay behind and give us orders while we're in the field. That's true. Yeah, the way this case is shaping up, we're really gonna need someone calling the shots from back at base. Sorry, Chief. I know you went out of your way to offer your help, but this key this is the key to our success. That right? Okay, fine. Listen up. Just like before, I won't be giving you guys any direct instructions. You can have all the advice you want, I'll even take care of the comms for you. But you're gonna make your own decisions and solve this case with your own will. So, you up to the challenge? Yes, sir. Understood. Sounds like we're gonna have our work cut out for us starting tomorrow. End of the day. Day three. Eight a.m. Holy cow! I was almost up at eight a.m. Tio, are you sure you're okay, Tio? 
You can only wait here with the chief in Kiev if you don't feel well enough to go. There's no need to worry. I was able to get quite a bit of rest, so I'm feeling much better than usual, actually. Oh, you do look a lot better than you did yesterday, that's for sure. Still, I was pretty surprised when Kia told me she wanted to sleep next to you last night. I just felt like I wanted to all of a sudden. Hey, Tia, did you sleep good? Of course. I can only imagine the reason I'm in such a pristine condition is because I spent so much time with you, Kia. Yay! For a lifesaver, kiddo. You know, words. Indeed. It's as if she's our very own special pick-me-up. Oh, that reminds me. I want you to promise me this one thing, Kyo. If something like yesterday happens again, please tell us about it. Don't bottle it up, that only will make it that much harder on yourself. I don't mean to be harsh, but if you were to collapse in the middle of a fight, we'd all be in trouble. Roger, I'll keep that in mind. I'm a member of the SSS, and I intend to stand on equal footing with the rest of you. So thank you. I'm lucky to have people like you who I can share my pain and burdens with. Aw, oh, Tio. <laughs> don't mention it. Yeah, you can count on us. Sorry to step in and ruin this little moment of yours. Playing the question some of the citizens suspected of drug use this morning, right? Yes, sir. I want to confirm what we found in the First Division's report, if possible. This is will be busy anyway. We hope to take care of support requests as they come our way. It highly depends on how many support requests are actually monster-related. Indeed. If we let this opportunity slip away, we might not have any time left to venture outside the city. As of now, we want to look into the stockbroker in the residential district and an errand boy for the Saber Vipers. Finally, Ark NCL's new cast member. Should have known that First Division would pick up on all this. If you have time, you should go check in with Ian too. Out of the two you told us about, it looks like the stockbroker is the same one from the First Division's record. Seems like they don't know anything about the trading company manager just yet. Thanks for the advice, we'll make it a priority to stop by there. Dr. Gwenter should be contacting us later with the drug composition results around noon, I think. This is Lloyd Banning from the special support section. Lloyd, it's me, Bixen. Oh, hello, sir. This is good timing, actually. How's Gon holding up? Yes, about that. He, uh, seems to have disappeared again. What? He fills in on the details? Of course. You see, Gon's finally woke up late last night, but... He kept fading in and out of consciousness, so we decided to let him continue to sleep for the time being. Just to be safe, I stayed with him overnight thinking he had to report back to you today. When I awoke in the morning, Gantz was nowhere to be found. I see. Have you called the hotel or the casino? Yes, but I was told that no one has seen him for quite some time. Lloyd, what should we do? For now, I think it would be best if you stayed at the hotel, sir. Possible that Gantz might come back. We're already going out to gather some information, so we'll make sure to keep an eye out for him. If something comes up, please don't hesitate to give us another call. Alright, thank you. Did I hear that right? Gantz disappeared again? Yeah, apparently he snuck out of the hotel this morning, either by his own accord or... This is all the more reason to check on the other individuals who have used this drug as well. Man, I've got a bad feeling about this. The situation might be escalating faster than we anticipated. Don't worry about things here. Just go see what you can find. Hi. Yes, sir. Have a good day. Day is already better. Alright, what do we got here? Any monster quests? Ooh, lots of monster quests. Now, these are more my cup of tea. I guess we can do this one because this probably just involves like using an art or something. It shouldn't take very long. We could do that when we look for the monsters. I'll do this one just because it's like we could do it while looking for the monsters. But that's it. Nothing else. We're in the factory. I don't know which factory you're in. Probably this one. They're all here. Sorry, your support request, telling us the details. Appreciate the help as always. Oh, uh, dude, who is this? Yo, it's been too long. Have you been doing well? Good health? I did not realize you'd be here, Chief. Additionally, it's only been a short period. Ah, Teal's relationship with Chief Robert seemed awfully complicated, doesn't it? Our apologies if we barge in the middle of your conversation. Are we interrupting you? We don't mind returning at a more convenient time, if that's the case. Nah, there's no need to go worrying about that. In fact, Robert's here was actually the only 
the one who brought the request up in the first place. This one, I beg you to keep quiet about it. Stare. It's not what you think, Tio. I swear, promise there's nothing suspicious about this at all. We got a bit of a complex situation on our hands. A complex situation? How so? I imagine it's related to the request. Mind filling us in on the details? Right, I'll tell you everything. This request actually concerns the Foundation, yada yada. I believe you're aware the Foundation has been collecting combat data. EO's data is a reference to continuous improved efficiency. As a result, we believe they're yada yada. At least after this unlocking a new function in Tail. Telling us that Tio Tot's gonna get some kind of sweet new ability? Function this for the staff, not me, Randy. Many complex functions uh, already lay dormant with the staff's code. However, there are no programs available that will allow me to safely utilize them. New programs been developed. At least I believe this to be the purpose of the request. What kind of function? Is this like a new... We actually... Oh, it's a new craft. Okay, I guess this is why chat's like going crazy about this quest. That's gonna be a heck of a beast. Can't activate the new function in the current staff without playing Tio in harm's way. We need to improve the handle so she can get a better grip on it. I don't really get it. Sounds incredible. Will Tio be able to use the new function? She sure will. It seems to be a problem. Carrying the program required parts have been delayed. Things can need the way they are. They will convenience Tio. Yada yada. Kind of just skimming this because my throat is already tired from reading and we're going to have a lot more reading to go. All makes sense now. Well, a week-long delay is unfortunate. I'm not particularly irritated by it. I'm interested in testing out the new function as soon as possible. All right, so this is going to do something for Tio, which, I mean, that's worth it. Probably why chat wants me to do it so badly. Materials. Please don't make the materials a pain to get. I see what you're saying. If we gather the materials for you, you'll be able to finish up this project. Hey guys, why don't we pitch in and help for Tio's sake? I was thinking the same thing. No argument there. Are you sure? It may slow us down. Hopefully it doesn't slow us down too much. Sounds like a plan. Yada yada. Alright, what materials? Get 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 to the chase. T material. Might be kind of difficult to find it in crossbell. Screw off. I hate that. We'll search for it anyway. By the way, we only need one of them. Oh, how do I get a stupid tea material? Shall we go then? Let's go. Yada yada. Oh, this is going to be a pain. I thought this was going to be more straightforward. How the heck do you want me to get a stupid tea material? Can I just Google that? I don't want to spend too long on this. Or if chat wants to tell me, please tell me. I'm gonna go beat up these monsters, and I I would expect chat to just tell me where to get a team material. I'm not doing a, I'm not spending too much time on this. Uh, we'll go to Moongazer Tower and fight this monster. How do I how do I open the map again? Moongazer Tower, Moon Temple's right there. We want to go to the mining village. get it later what do you mean later like elaborate on that are you saying i have to move on in the game to get it or something like i can't get it right now that's fine if true Okay, follow-up question, because I'm seeing you get it before you finish Chapter 4. Do I have to go out of my way for it? Is it hard to find? Am I actually going to, like, be able to find it? Or is it, like, kind of once you start the quest, it's like, you just find it? Because I'm going to get it. I would like to get it done, especially if it gives Tio, like, a new craft or something. But I also don't want to do anything more than I have to. Basically, I like I want to be like pushing to finish the game. I guess like I'm not doing anything out of my way except these monster quests. Because these monster quests are going to be like more experience. But other than them, I really don't want to do anything that's going to add more time than finishing the game. <laughs> 